<laughs> okay, okay. So thanks. Um, guys, I really appreciate your okay. hospitality, first yeah. of all, for, 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 for inviting us here and, uh, and for, for being such great hosts as My you always are. My pleasure to be, to be here um, with you. Really appreciate it. And, and, uh, and the same goes out to Paolo as well. And, uh, and who's the other guy at the shop? The oh. older chip fella. Okay, he's he working with Sky Shop. Not with he's the... working in the shop, but he's a lovely guy. He's very knowledgeable, yeah, and, isn't he? And he has a uh, lot of knowledge about uh, the Lots of knowledge, yes, yeah. Yes. Uh, somebody that I could talk to in a pub over a few pints for, sure. uh, um, sure. for, for a long time. I have some questions for you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, what do you think about uh, the traffic? I mean, the, um, the difference between if uh, Because here, as you see, uh, there's not a lot of traffic uh, in yeah. the past, like in the past. Um, yeah, I mean, was, it's the same uh, percentage of uh, aviation uh, stops uh, in Heathrow. Yeah, the thing with Heathrow, there there is a lot more, um, a lot more variety, a lot more uh, of different airlines coming in there. Yes, so of the, course. So uh, the Far East, you know, Saudi Arabian Airlines, Etihad. They still work um, and they're still uh, flying. Uh, and... Qatar, you know, obviously Emirates. Yes, yes, they're still they're still operating. Um, and it's still very, it's still very busy um, compared to a lot of places. You know, luckily Heathrow's an international airport. Yes, I know. You know but, uh... Uh, but the great thing here is, you know, you can't get this kind of shot at Heathrow. Yeah. So um, we're very fortunate to. Every airport has its has its good points. Sure. You know, um, and that's why it's uh, and the weather, of course. You know, we're always guaranteed to have good weather. A little bit of uh, wind this afternoon, maybe. To, uh, to give them a bit of a you know a bit of that, but yeah, in terms of the movements, um, obviously a lot less than there was last time here, you know. Yes. Um, but but still, it's good. It's you know we get the rare stuff, you know the high fly 340, um, you know the, um, the Euro Atlantic 767s. Uh, so we still got a good variety of stuff here at Lisbon, and uh, so and it's, so so I would recommend it to anybody. Uh, coming here uh, from overseas definitely has a great place to, to come and visit and the locals are great the police are very friendly you know there's yeah. never any issue with there's anybody no here I mean, they're always very friendly so and there's a there's a McDonald's very close to here as well yes so <laughs> we which go is there. always <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. okay but my question is if you uh, how is the situation the situation in Ifdro at the moment with the COVID uh, is real difference like here. Well, the, the, the problem with everywhere with COVID is that uh, every country has its has its uh, different limitations, you know. So, um, for instance, here when I come here, um, I can come here. Um, it's on the amber list. In, in the UK, we have green, amber, and red. You don't yes. have that here. Yes, we have. Oh, oh do you? Similar, similar. Yeah. Okay, okay. We are so, in yellow. You're no. in yellow, exactly. Yeah. You were green before when we booked this. Yes. We we were, we booked <laughs> I know, this I when know. you were green. <laughs> um, but then it went yellow. So now we have to uh, do extra tests. Um, when I when but when I when I return home, I have to isolate for five days minimum, and I have to have another two tests. So um, you know, it's very inconvenient. You know, it's and it's and it's very saddening and very. Um, you know, when you go to the hotel, everybody, you have to clean your hands everywhere, which is not a bad thing, you know, in, in terms of hygiene, but you have to wear gloves when you're going to the food and all that sort of stuff. And, it, you know, and everybody, the good thing is that I've noticed here in Lisbon as well, uh, everybody is, is doing the right thing with the masks, you know, so I think, uh, I think, that's, a, I think that's a really uh, important thing to make people understand that uh, because Lisbon has gone back or Portugal has gone back onto the amber list, it doesn't mean that people are being irresponsible, not at all. It's because of new variants and new strains and stuff like that, which is just affecting every country in the world. And Heathrow, um, you know, uh, there are limit, very, very strict limitations on being able to fly into Heathrow now uh, coming in from other countries. So. You know, um, and I think we're unfortunately it's going to be like that for quite some time. Yeah. The last question uh, for you: um, What do you think about the future for aviation? The future for aviation. Yeah, because you know many airlines, uh, some will disappear. Uh, I don't know how it's in England, but here. Well, you know, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the government-run airlines like TAP, uh, fortunately, uh, they will always have 
the backup of the government, you know, um, to a certain extent, you know, British Airways, um, you know, I, I don't think that I don't think that British Airways would ever go bust. I think Lufthansa, for example, you know, all of these major uh, um, airlines that represent the countries, the flag carriers, I think they're the airlines that will survive. Um, but, uh, but for a lot of airlines, you're literally starting from nothing again. You know, our, our good friends at Virgin Atlantic, they, are, they, they, they work so hard. They're great people. You know, they're a family airline, um, uh, but they're on their knees, as are so many airlines. Um, but, you know, it's how you run the business and how long you can run it for on that very low budget. Uh, everybody's suffering. So in, in terms of the future of, of aviation, uh, I, I, I don't think you're going to see a, 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 a massive decline in, 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 in aircraft numbers. Um, uh, it, it, but, but what you are going to see is a decline in the size of the fleets. You know, so um, a lot of uh, airlines are going to get rid of the big heavy aircraft. And as we've seen with the jumbo jet now, um, unfortunately, being um, retired with Virgin, with uh, British Airways, we would have had we would have had maybe another four years left of the British Airways jumbo jet. Another four years had it not been for Covid. And how about the 380? The 380 would have would have would have continued to fly. It would have we would have still had um, uh, uh, Qatar, uh, Emirates, Etihad, uh, the, uh, uh, Singapore Airlines, Thai Airways, uh, Qantas. You know all those big guys. The big guns would have been running their 380s probably for another 10 years before they started to to, to, to phase them out. You know, um, but it's the big twins. It's all these the 330 Neos, the 350s, the triple sevens, uh, the, the twin engine super jets that are that are the future of aviation. You know. Um, and it's good, you know, because we will still see the 380s flying for at least another 10 years. At least another 10 years. And I think that once I the so. industry picks up again, you're going to start to see, you know, the likes of Qantas, um, possibly Singapore, uh, Etihad, Emirates, uh, Qatar, you know, maybe keeping a few British Airways, yeah. maybe keeping a couple of 380s. I hope. You know, <laughs> I hope. yeah, we all hope so, man. Um, uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's something that... And, and people have their own opinions on the on the 380, on whether they love it or hate it, you know. I, as an I aviation... Love. Yeah, I love aviation. I don't hate you nothing know, in aviation. I love... I love I love the little ATP ATR right up to the A380 yeah. you know all the different variants because they all have their own individual you know good and well, I can't say bad points because yeah. aviation is aviation aircraft or aircraft you know so uh, yeah I think the future's I think the future's okay for aviation yeah it's okay okay uh, Jerry we'll be back uh, later we go now with lunch. and uh, thank you for you here with uh, Thank you very much Thanks. empty. Now it's on board. Be surprised if the DHL 75 does the same. The 730 is Jubilee. DHL Jubilee for 730. Gotta give it a chance, haven't we? Ex Eva Air.
it's um, so hopefully he's going to slow down enough to get a nice power up as he as he rides up the ramp. Ok, tivemos então a partida do último, um dos últimos jogos da TAP hoje aqui na Aviação TV, um A320 Neo com destino a Orly em Paris e a seguir já prontinho para descolar o 757 da DHL. E vai ele o 757 de carga, portanto diga a ele, vai para a cidade espanhola de Vitória. É um voo praticamente diário, excepto ao fim de semana. How was today and uh, the, the highlights for you? Oh, uh, well, it's difficult really. Um, the, the highlights for me has to be the C-130, the Hercules this morning, yeah. uh, okay. the A-343, okay. um, the Angolan 777, um, all the A-339s um, and um, just, just, uh, just a, a lot of stuff. Uh, and, and of course the you know the chat with with my members you know this it's just great to have that that constant uh, uh, um, excitable chat you know so a lot, lots of people have been here like I think nearly over 10 hours now so uh, but it's it's been great man and the traffic has just been fantastic um, uh, it's just 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 as good as last as last time we were here yeah okay. not a lot different really wow. man you know because you know, um, and tomorrow apparently it's going to be even it's busier. Much better, it's much better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So how it can be any better, I don't know. I mean, there's see. no C130 tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you know, okay. uh, <laughs> probably no 343. But tomorrow morning we have um, the uh, Latam freighter. Uh, well, Latam 76 going out. Um, that Angolan going out tomorrow morning as well, um, and uh, and lots of other stuff. So really looking forward to it, man. Really excited about it. Okay, thank you for you are here with uh, VSL no, TV. Thank you, man. And thank you to all you folks <laughs> okay. out there. Okay. Uh, uh, for people who don't know in Portugal, uh, Jerry uh, uh, he carried the uh, best uh, live stream uh, channel in the world. Uh, for me, yeah, in my opinion, as uh, Big Jet TV. So if you want uh, follow um, Jerry in a YouTube and Facebook, uh, this is my advice. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Uh, I don't know what.